Hi, it's Alicia. Today I'm going to talk you through my three cards that I made with the Mint A Collection Cozy Evening. I decided to make three cards or a trio of cards. These are all matching cards using the same design but changing up the elements a little bit so that each card looks unique. I started with three craft note cards and I cut three papers from the 6x6 paper pad to fit each of the cards leaving a slight craft border edge around the base of the card. I glued these on with just a liquid scrapbooking glue. I think these papers are really beautiful. I really like the colours of the papers and I like the images and especially the flowers and the animals. I also think these are quite suitable for mail cards. I actually gave two of these cards away. One to my dad and one to my father-in-law and the other one I actually gave to my mom. So I do think they can be suitable. This collection can certainly be suitable for mail cards. To begin with, I added a paper doily to each of the cards. And this was a die cut that I had cut from some foam, some art foam and I cut that out in three different colours, but I picked colours that were suited to the papers. So I picked like the aqua green and then the peach, and the last one I picked was the white. And this just adds a frame to the card. Then I picked three frames from the 12 by 12 sheet that has the frames on it and I fussy cut those out and I'm just adding those to the center of the card on top of the doily and on top of the die cut with some foam dots. And this provides a nice base for me to do some layering on my cards. So there we've got three elements, we've got the paper doily, we've got the die cut and we've got the frame. The next step for me now is to choose some of the fussy cut elements that could work well on the card. So on the middle card I've chosen a flower and a reindeer. I originally thought this happy birthday die cut might work for these cards but I ended up changing my mind and not using it later. So for this card I have a flower cluster as the base and then the reindeer as the top element that I'm going to pop up with the foam dots. Then I have this um, metal decoration that I'm going to add to all three of the cards and I'm thinking of just popping it in there and this is where I give up on the happy birthday die cut I think it's too big for for the card so on the third card again I start with a floral cluster and then I've got the squirrel on top. The floral clusters just give a really nice fancy effect 
to the cards. I do like that little squirrel with the love heart poems. I think that's so cute. That was the card that I gave to my mom, the one with the squirrel. And on this one I've got the, I think that's like an old fashioned fireplace and I've chosen a puppy dog. I'm just playing around with what else could go on this card. I end up choosing a another deer and the puppy dog facing that way. So I, I chose three fussy cut elements for this card. Um, I pasted the first one down with just the liquid glue and then the deer and the dog I used the foam dots. I used the dog to cover up the deer's feet because on that particular image it, was, it didn't have any feet so I'm just putting the little puppy there so that you can't see the deer has no feet. I have these little lace flowers which I thought might be a nice embellishment for the card. Even though they are quite feminine, I do like them because they've got a little bit of lace that dangles down so that adds extra texture to the card. So I end up gluing one on each card. And I found these cute little flowers that I love so I'm just finding a little spot on each card where I can add in one of those flowers because they go perfectly with the colors of this collection of papers I'm just layering those in and then I really wanted these to be birthday cards so I found some little wooden chipboard um, some wooden veneers that that I coloured. Well, the first one, the happy, the green happy, was actually already coloured in my stash, but um, I coloured all the others orange to match the collection. Sometimes I think it's nice to have a sentiment on the card, and these little wooden chipboard sentiments are perfect for adding on top of that because it changes the texture as well. Normally, if you watch my videos, you know that I usually add a little bit of cheesecloth and I forgot to do that on these cards, so I'm just adding them in later. You can do that. You can just slide a little bit of cheesecloth in underneath all of your layers and that just softens the papers. These little foam frame, corner frames, or photo frames or photo corners they were cut with the die so I just added those into the corners and then for the inside of the card I just cut some more paper from the paper pad and because the papers are quite busy I didn't feel like I needed to add anything more to the inside of the cards there was just enough room to write a message. I was really happy with how these cards came out. I hope you like them too. I'd love to see your take on, on these cards. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and have a lovely crafty day.